Anthony. Anthony, wake up. Oh, thank God. Oh, it was all a dream. It was horrible. I, I, I dreamt that I spent the last year of my life reviewing crappy bands. Oh. Can you believe that? <laughs> what? This one hurts. You know what? No. This deserves something different this time. So I guess this marks one year we've been together. You know, in that time, I've been asked some interesting questions by a lot of you guys. One of which actually is a continual one, which is, Am I friends with some of the more online popular guys like Spoonie and Angry Video Game Nerd? Short answer to that, folks, no. <laughs> it, now, it's not to say that I wouldn't want to be friends, it's just I don't know them personally. That and, well, I live miles away from them kind of helps. Though it does make me laugh that I am actually put into that category. Now, while it's an honor to be put in the same category with these people, I, there is one name I get mentioned around and I get associated with that I personally would never want to, ever. No, not that guy. This one is much, much worse. Hey, it's Brad! Ugh. Okay, here's a guy that got fame for no reason other than he just got fame. Okay, he created a character that was by far the most annoying thing any of us have ever heard, just for the fun of it, and everybody and their mother ate it up. Ugh, you know what? Some people have called this guy a marketing genius, and I'd hate to agree with him, but I have to, I think. It's hard to disagree. I mean, face it. He did this out of a whim, and now look at him. He has his own site, he has t-shirts, makes mm, probably tons off of his videos, and he makes public appearances that are getting thousands of fans. Sadly, once again, people just don't know when to leave well enough alone, and he's just not planning on stopping at the YouTube market. So, of course, he comes into the market of Time for TV. Now, the good thing about this is his market is kind of, well, limited. I mean, all he does is really the iCarly, Hannah Montana kind of people, and that kind of stays. So the teens, they get to that. I mean, thank God, right? It kind of be interesting, though, to see him branch out. I mean, can you imagine Fred on Lost? the genius behind Fred, this is actually an interesting idea to branch Fred out. I mean, not all the fans have 100% access to it, so this is a way for them to go crazy. Good job. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Anthony, your show is Music Freak. Why are you talking about Fred? How do I put this? Fuck it. Here it is.
That's right, fans. Fred has not only crossed over into TV and little shirts and stuff, he's now crossed over into music. The holiday season has brought Fred to give all of his millions of fans a gift. What gift is that? Did he decide to just delete his account and stop? No. He has now made a Christmas album. Although technically you can't exactly call it an album, it's just an extended play or EP. The name? It's a Hackin' Christmas with Fred. That hurts. Do I, do, I, do I have to explain why this is bad, people? Really? I mean, okay. There's a rule. I, I did speak about them in my text reviews. Here's the rule, folks. If the guy sounds like this... Oh my god, it's a voodoo doll! Kevin made a voodoo doll so he can poke it and it will hurt me! And he's only talking? Don't buy an album! Ugh. Okay. There's only two reasons why you would buy this album. One is your little fan that thinks, ha, huh, that's a funny idea, we should support Fred and do all this stuff. And two, you're saying, oh my goodness, this is hilarious, he made an album, let's make fun of him. Both of you people shouldn't have money. Okay, for the people that are doing this, that are fans, I get it, you want to support him, but I mean, come on, you guys are just there to laugh at it, and let's face it, you guys can always just buy the new Hannah Montana CD and actually listen to, I'm going to get flamed for this, good music. I don't think she's good, but you guys do. Now, for the rest of you that are just buying this as a humor thing, well, I thought we learned our lesson back with William Hung, that we're not supposed to make fun of people, and we're not supposed to just joke and say, oh, let's, let's buy an album. If you do that, he will keep making these things. Ugh. Do you not get it? That's marketing. I mean, we would do that with any other TV show or any other character. So why stop here? Yeah, I can't blame him. Uh, I mean, at least that's all he can do. I mean, it's not like he can go any farther. He's already got the videos. He's got the website. He's got the t-shirts. He's got the other apparels. He's definitely got the now CD. I mean, can't exactly go any farther, right?